Thank you all for coming. Cheers and cheers to everyone here. Cheers. You studied photo history and design in college and I'm curious, what job did you think you were gonna do with that degree at the time? Um, I guess I didn't really know because like in college I, I played in um, punk rock bands but I got really into kind of photography, shooting all the bands and then into design by designing all the like flyers and stuff to promote the, uh, okay. to promote the shows. When I um, decided that I didn't want to make money off of music, I knew I wanted to be in advertising because okay. I was like I love the design part of it but I also like the, the kind of like the hustle of like okay I can get people and influence people to understand what a brand or a service kind of is about in an interesting kind of creative way. What was your very first compliment that you thought, okay, I'm good at this? I don't know, like, like I was, I'm always weird, like I'm never happy with what I do. So I'm always like, honestly, you know, kind of modest about it. Um, but it really wasn't until like social media and like Instagram and stuff where people are like, oh my God, you're fucking amazing. I'm like, I don't know, dude, I just took that photo on my phone walking home. No. And my mom always liked my stuff. So. Of course, right, right. What is like the key to a successful collaboration? when you have a lot of creative people on a project? Well, I think, I think uh, to me, a lot of people is actually more of a dangerous thing. Like I like to have smaller groups okay. of people yeah. that are really kind of focused on it. So I think if you get everyone amped up and excited about this, like all the impossible shit, like money and time yeah. and the barriers and whatever, they all kind of go away because passion could kind of get over kind of anything. Like to me, so that's the most important thing. So what's like the biggest mistakes you're seeing right now that you wish brands would stop doing? My analogy for social media is that all social media channels, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, they're like this, right? It's a room, it's a party. And most of the time, like a brand would show up in this room and they'll start yelling, going, oh my God, buy this, buy this. And they don't realize like, you're at a quiet party. Why are you acting like a dick? So like McDonald's gets it wrong all the time. They'd show up in this party, go, yo kids, have a Big Mac. If they would know better, they would come in here, have a conversation, go, fuck, McDonald's is actually kind of cool, man. I would go to their yeah, party and hang out right. with them. That's the simple analogy and it's our job to clearly be able to articulate it to them so they know it and understand okay. how they need to act. Was there like a catalyst or what? When did you like really start to pick up followers? When you get like uh, recognition outside of the platform, uh -huh. like one time um, I found out Tony Hawk was following me, who like was my childhood fucking hero and, and he named me as his favorite person to follow on Instagram. And I was just like, it was like Christmas. Okay. And, and then I got like 30,000 people followed me that day because oh my god, Tony Hawk said so. I ask everyone version. if they could have a drink with anyone, is your answer Tony Hawk? Do you want to have um, no, because I already hung out with him. Danny and I went oh. and hung out with him in Milwaukee when he came with his wife and I hung out and shot photos all day with him in Chicago, which was amazing. If I could have a drink with anyone, um, it'd probably be Henry Rollins. His kind of impact of like, not just like an artist of who he is, but his kind of thing of like, this is how I am and if you don't like it, too fucking bad. Like I always really like that really kind of affected me. So I respect him. I'm not trying to get too deep, but like, what have you really learned about yourself over the last like five years? I mean, I think the biggest thing to me is for like big meetings or even stuff like this, and you get up and present and I wear a suit and dress up and think I was like Don Draper, but I would get really nervous and freaked out because I realized that I was playing a role and I wasn't being myself. Right. So and then like, like literally like, like four or five years ago, I go just fuck it. I'm just going to be myself and just see what that does. So like to me, it's like I have total, I think I've gained kind of confidence in that. What, if you're like not feeling inspired, how do you like push through that? Creative to me is like working out. And as soon as you stop and slow down, it's like, oh fuck, I don't wanna go to the gym now. Yeah, but yeah. if you're always working out, you're always at the gym, you're always whatever, you're like sharper. It's like to, to me, so I just don't stop. Right. Social media, like to me, the reason why it's addictive is you're not alone at the party. You're like, I said something and all these people reacted. That's the kind of drug. Like I think people follow social channels on, on any platform because it's like watching Game of Thrones or your favorite TV show. I'm, I'm following Brian because he does this kind of thing and I want to see what his story and how it evolves. I want to go along the ride with him. So I think you got to think about that. Like, you have an audience out there. What do I want to tell them? Like what kind of conversation do I want to hold with them? Do you ever just disconnect and say today is just a no? No, because I don't. I don't think so. Because it's like to me, it's the new normal. Like right, right. disconnecting. Like again, that's like you sound like your parents. Like don't watch too much TV. I'm like TV is fucking awesome. What's your favorite TV show? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I mean, Game of Thrones is so fucking awesome. <laughs> no, Game of Thrones. Thank you very much for, for doing to this. Chicago. This was fun. Thanks this for coming, everyone. There's a pretty good roof with, uh, you can see the train, and you can shoot, see the skyline, so if we want to shoot some photos. Let's, shoot some. let's do it.